So I'm here today with Tanya Kennedy Luminati, who is product manager for the Matrix Max product here at Matrix Group. And Tanya, we're going to talk about integration. Yes. So people groan when they talk about integration and they say, God, integration is so hard. And then other people say, oh, integration's easy. I'm in the camp of integration is hard. Which camp are you in? I'm in the camp of integration is hard. Why is uh, it so hard? It's, um, it's hard for a lot of reasons. I think we can break it down into three. Uh, I think the, the first thing is that integration means different things to different people. You say integration and some people think single sign-on, some people think single password, some people think the pages look the same. It's got the same navigation and it looks like the same site. Uh, some people think about writing activities back to the main database. There's so many aspects of integration that you can be talking about a very small single sign-on project or a very massive multi-tiered integration project. And the second reason is technologies, you say, are really different. Yeah, technologies are really different. And so some technologies are more compatible than others. And you also have different systems who have been built at different times and are using different versions. Uh, for example, the Matrix Max system, we do our single sign-on with a, a vetted protocol called CAS, the Central and Authentication it's open source. Service. Yeah, it's open source and it's used by a lot of people over the world. And that's what we use. And we usually don't have too much trouble with it. Um, but we have also hit against people who use different technologies or use their own custom proprietary single sign-on. And when that happens, somebody's got to give. Either they need to develop in CAS that we're using, or we need to develop something to their custom system. And either way, that pushes cost and complexity up really high. So Tanya, even when people say, oh yeah, we got web services, we got APIs, it's not all the same thing as what you're saying. No, no, I mean, there's lots of stuff going on. There's the single sign-on, there are APIs, there's web services, there's transferring data back and forth, there's authentication, there's all different things happening. And, you know, depending on your level of integration, you've got a lot of moving pieces. And then you say the third thing is, it's all about the user experience. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing we've hit is um, just kind of walking through what happens to the user. You know, they start here on this page, they link here, they get redirected there, they get redirected back here, then there's a button where they can do an edit, but then they have to go back to the main database. And really, unless that is really talked through, some of those details get missed, especially in the initial contract discussions. And so if, if you've got a lot of moving pieces and you want the user to only edit their profile here and only store this data there, then you've got a lot of moving and redirecting back and forth. And that has to be walked through, it has to be agreed on, it has to be tested. And you call those all the use cases and all the error conditions. Yeah, all the use cases. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, so I guess integration's hard. So next time, let's talk about what you can do to make integration easier. Sounds good. All right, thanks, Tanya. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the Matrix Minute. Don't forget to connect with us on our blog and social media. For more information, go to matrixgroup.net.